So I see a lot of trainers and even a lot of hypnotherapists talking about how they will do like an intake form or they'll collect information from their potential client and then they'll write their words down and they'll use their words as direct or indirect suggestions during the therapeutic part of the hypnosis thing. And when it comes to this, this really not only doesn't make sense, but it's a big fucking waste of time. One big thing hypnotherapists need to understand is the difference between conscious information and unconscious information. Let me break this down simply. We could spend all day talking about this, but I'll try and keep this brief. When a client says, Scott, I want to quit smoking, what are they telling me? Well, they are telling me the symptom of the problem they have. It's the experience they're having based on a problem they have no idea about. So whatever your client's coming in for, stop smoking, anxiety, fear, abundance blocks, whatever it is, I don't like my relationship, that's the symptom. We all know this. And a lot of people live by this. A lot of hypnotherapists say they live by this and they understand this rule 100%. But then they'll ask their clients, well, what do you want instead? And the client will say, well, I want a better relationship. I want to quit smoking. I want it to be easy. I want to lose weight before my wedding. And the hypnotherapist will go down and write all those words as if you know you do the induction and then you can just say these words back to the client and they become that thing they've told you about. But let's back it up a sec, okay? The client has told me their symptom. What's the point of writing down the words of the results they want based on the symptom? Because relationships is not the issue. Stopping smoking is not the issue. This, this, and this, whatever they tell you is not the issue. So there's no point writing down words and feeding it back to my clients because they're all conscious references and conscious interpretations of what the real problem is. You won't know what that symptom is until you start doing proper therapeutic or using proper therapeutic tools. In our advanced conversation hypnosis program, we've spent three days doing the therapy instead of three days just learning how to deepen client and doing the hypnosis. And again, I've talked about this in the past without the actual use of writing anything down. I don't have to use suggestions. I don't have to feed back the words. I don't have to do that because it's a lot of conscious stuff. You always got to remember this. When you're talking to your client about what they want or what their problem is, 95, 97% of what they say, it's going to be conscious. When you find the unconscious stuff, the real unconscious, juicy, golden stuff that the unconscious mind actually wants for this person, uh, that's the type of information you want to be listening to. And I don't have to feed back that information. I don't have to turn it into a suggestion. And again, it's as easy for me to say, hey, you have to learn how to be able to do this stuff. But back to the basics, if you're writing things down, expecting to feed back that information to your client, all you're doing is feeding back their conscious interpretation. You're feeding back the symptom. And if you're wondering why your client comes out of this trance thing feeling the same, and you have to see them time and time and time and time again, audios, homework, all that stuff, no matter what the problem is, this is why you're spinning around the symptom, but you're also creating suggestions based on the symptoms you think they want and based on the symptoms they think they have instead of finding out what this real root cause is and you won't know what that root cause is until you're actually in it with your client, okay? So forget about writing things down unless you have to do legally, like some uh, therapists in some countries have to write down notes legally, that's fine. But forget the idea of just feeding back your client's words because they do not matter and they have no impact on your client. Because if I ask my client, what do you want instead? And they say, I want to be a non-smoker. Then I put them into trance and say, you're a non-smoker now. I'm still talking about the symptom. I'm talking about the wrong thing, guys.